How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Flintlock, the Siege of Dawn. Uh, this is the next series we're going to be covering on the channel. It is a Souls-like by the developer A44 Games, who developed uh, Ashen. Now, if you've played that, it's basically like Dark Souls Jr. with like clay people. Pretty awesome game. Uh, if you have not played it, I suggest you do so. Uh, so we're going to be hopping in on normal. And a big thank you to the folks at... Uh, guillotine for providing me a early review copy um, today is the 15th of July uh, so much appreciated for much appreciated for that we are gonna be hopping in right no. now for ten bitter years since the dead broke through the door I've promised you peace today I'm making good on it Sama hatched a plan to blow up the door to cut the dead off forever. Alan and I volunteered. We probably won't make it back, but I would rather take my chances than leave you in this broken world. You deserve more than a letter you'll never receive. But we both know you would never let me go. I lived a long life, but never a full one. Not until I found you. Promise me you'll live, Nor. I'm off to earn my rest. Baz. So I did play the demo for this on uh, Steam Next Fest, but I didn't share that with you guys due to trying to streamline content uh, right before Elden Ring Shadow of the Ur Tree. Um, but it was a good time, so I am excited to see what else. Game has in store. May have to lower the volume a little more. I did that on initial look through the settings. Action, front. Aim. Fire! No, she's not accepting anyone. Just pretend they shoved you, all right? and Harlan to the door to the great below. I don't have time for this, Vanek. Requesting permission to... Denied. Baz can't fight at his age. Harlan can't cover for him and blow the door at the same time. I'm the best sapper you've got and you know it. Return to your station, Vanek. Was that? Can't have been them. The blast came from too low. Wasn't nearly loud enough. I see. They're late, aren't they? Just give the order. <sighs> All right, then. All right. Follow the trenches to the old fort. Stop for nothing and no one understood? Yes, Field Marshal. All right, here we go. clear the way. No rest till dawn. No, no rest, rest till dawn. dawn. All right, pop him right in. So, like I said, the the demo for this was was really good. I liked it. Um, and I am up until uh, the release. I am allowed to. I think uh, up until Wednesday, I am allowed to show up to uh, a base that's called uh, Mud. I forget what it's called. Mud something or other base. I you died. Sorry to disappoint. Mud docks, something like that. Okay, circle. It's a interesting dodge there. <laughs> Cover a lot of ground with that. Okay, firearms. Powerful weapons used to fight the dead. R2 to shoot your primary weapon. Shooting primary firearm consumes a black powder charge. And black powder charges are restored by hitting enemies with melee attacks. 
land four melee attacks to restore one black powder charge. Okay, so. Interesting that I had to aim at a specific one. Oh god. Bastards! Can't even aim right! To aim at a specific one there. So you do like ledge ledge grabs. Jumping to areas, we get a double dodge in a little bit. Oh, well, you're not dead. Yep. Let me look at the settings. I'm gonna lower the audio a bit. Uh, let's try that. Let's see how that is. So yeah, the setting with uh, all the revolutionary looking type th and stuff is uh, pretty cool. Norn's pistol is effective at disrupting enemy attacks. R2 while an enemy is attacking to disrupt. When an enemy is disrupted, they're knocked out at their current attack. So let's try it. Okay, reputation represents your rena uh, renown, and experience can be spent to obtain skills and items. You gain reputation when you defeat enemies, complete quests, and overcome challenges. You can build your reputation multiplier by performing different actions. The multiplier increases the amount of reputation you gain when you claim it by holding left on the d-pad. When you take damage, your reputation multiplier resets, and your reputation is automatically claimed. When you die, you lose all claimed reputation to recover, re, uh, return to the location of your death. So standard, standard stuff except the reputation multiplier. That is, uh, that's kind of different. So we have a 20% multiplier right now. Ah, oh, there we go. You have to claim it. <laughs> So this looks pretty good. Oh, rest now. Alright, got that guy. 17%. So the the game is supposedly about 20 hours long. 20 plus hours. And from what I saw from the demo, it looks like... Let's try it, Oh, did I get a hit? Must have. Um, from what I saw from the demo, it looks uh, kind of like Ashen, like there is uh, stuff hidden around the world and uh, stuff off the beaten path that you want to explore and find, so I am all for that. You guys know me, I love exploring and finding stuff. your melee weapon to block and parry enemy attacks. Uh, L1 to enter the blocking stance. You block damage done to you until knocked out of your stance by sustained attacks. Uh, L1 just before an attack hits to attempt to parry. Time it right to render the enemy helpless. After a successful parry, you can you have a short window to perform a counterattack by pressing R1. So let's try some parries, 
shall we? I don't think I did that right. There we go. Timing gets can uh, take some getting used to. It is pretty generous though, so from what I experienced from the demo. Okay, now we have break attacks. A break attack is an attack that cannot be blocked or parried. Break attacks are shown by the dangerous red attack indicator. Safest way to deal with the the break attack is to disrupt it or sh uh, by shoot bleh, by shooting the enemy with Nor's pistol. Come and get it. What are you doing here? Get killed. You could get killed. Did you even think about that? No, please. This whole mission is just. Just pull the damn gate up! Oh. Sarah is here. Okay, Both. so we're headed towards the uh, the typical Nor. boss Get that back. you're supposed to die to. I'm not ready for this. And Yahara is. Listen here, you little French filler. What in the pits is that? What have you done? Getting us through. Those on the wall are glowing. Why are they glowing? Some of them are. These bodies, they've been here for years. The dead must have gotten them while they were fleeing the city. They look smashed. Toyed with. The dead don't do that. Keep your eyes peeled, will you? Whatever did this is probably still around. I like the setting a lot here. All set. Everyone get clear. Close below. Cute. Hey, Harlan! You still with me? You just... That thing is... Not part of it, Harlan! No rest till no dawn! Rest till dawn. No, no rest till dawn! No rest till dawn! All right, you mongrel. Huh? Come at me! Ooh. This thing's beefy, like... Yeah, and this is pretty much an insta-kill. Pretty cool, watch this.
the pits, am I? You wouldn't know, would you? Follow me. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Hey, 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 wait! I dragged you out of the river. You were unconscious for a while. Out of the... Was there anyone else with me? You were alone. No matter. You'll have to do. Do? What am I going to do, exactly? Your kind meddled where you shouldn't. Destroyed the barrier that kept the gods contained. What barrier? <sighs> you mean that shimmering wall? We... So it was you. We couldn't... I didn't know. The damage is done. Now you must mend it. So here's the... Here's the part where uh, this starts to um, kind of blend, well not blend in, but kind of see similarities with uh, Stray Blade, uh, with our companion that we're hey. about to get. Hey! So we played Stray Blade on the, oops, on the channel. The while God back. unleashed is called Uru. It is his army of the dead that has been laying waste to dawn. The source of all your suffering. And how is it that you know all of this? Because I am a god too. You tiny talking fox thing. You're a god. There are lesser and greater gods. My name is Enki. You probably haven't heard of me. Consider me your chance at redemption. Your kind ravaged my city, my world, killed everyone I've ever loved. Every breath I take from here on will be spent exacting my revenge on the gods. What's to stop me starting with you? Nothing. Death to gods. <laughs> Alone, you stand no chance against a god. Let me help you. If you're a god, you're one of them. Why would I do anything to help someone I've sworn to kill? If it's vengeance you want, I'll give it to you. As long as Uru is free, your world is in mortal peril. Help me seal him away. Stem the tide of destruction. It's the least you can do. You have a deal. Any hint of trickery and I'll be burying this axe into your skull. I would expect nothing less. Now how do we get out of here? This way. Yeah. So there are gonna be resources to collect throughout the world. No. My name's Noon. And the axe. That's not a woodcutter's tool. I'm a sapper. I fight in trenches, tunnels. Lots of uses for an axe in there. You are capable of one, then. I'm efficient. There's just no resources around quite yet. Give me some of your black powder. What for? You'll see. Good. Now, try keeping up. Keep up how? So we get Powder Mobility. You can now perform special moves that enhance your dodging and aerial mobility. Perform a Powder Dodge by pressing Circle, and then Circle again to uh, gain more distance. When in the air, you can perform a Powder Jump by pressing X, or an Aerial Dodge by uh, pressing Circle. When in the air, you can travel further by combining Circle and uh, X and Circle in any order. You can also use each move once. Okay, so. What was that? Little air dodge, little air jump. It should help us get around. Yeah. So the, the mobility uh, is pretty cool. From what I remember of the demo. 
Uru the Ravager. It was in every storybook they read for me when I was bad. And now he's loose. Yeah, there still is not any resources around, I think. Uh, just until we get up here a little bit, and there will start to be. Okay, so falling is dangerous. If you fall too far, you take damage, often fatal. You can break your fall by pressing X. This reduces your momentum. Break your fall just before landing to reduce or neutralize the damage you would take. Okay, so. Go. I like the, uh, definitely like the ledge trap. Makes it nice if you don't quite make what you're trying to, where you're trying to go. But yeah, I feel like this is going to be a fun series. Witherings are powerful magical abilities unique to Enki. To use Withering, you need to build Enki's Withering Gauge by uh, defeating enemies, so that is the purple gauge on the bottom right. When the Withering Gauge is full, press triangle uh, plus L1 to perform your equipped Withering. Dead. Okay. Oh, that is not full yet. I need to Stay alert until <laughs> Crazy. The dead shouldn't be here. Where is this place? How far away from the trenches? Things have changed while you were unconscious. You should best see them for yourself. So yeah, you build up that gauge and then you can use that ability, which is crazy. It's like a big ultimate ability. That in. Oh. Uh, with Enki's help, you can quickly defeat enemies, uh, building their priming gauge, then performing a critical attack. So it's basically like a stun meter. Press triangle to attack with Enki. This attack uh, curses the enemy and builds their priming gauge. When their priming gauge is full, the enemy is primed. Use R1 or R2 to perform a critical attack against them. Enki Curse Attacks also inflict the Curse of Death. Melee attacks build your prime on these cursed enemies. Calm down, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Why did that one go down so easily? I marked them for death. Help speed up the process. It's pretty nice. So, uh, I... From what I see, there were, uh, from the demo, there were weapons that have um, increased stun damage and stuff like that. So, some, some enemies wear armor, which significantly reduces the damage they take from attacks. You can remove enemy armor by priming them first, then destroying their armor with critical attack. Critical attack will kill an unarmored enemy, and armored enemy will have their armor destroyed instead. There we go. Strip off that armor. Checkpoints are locations in the world where you can rest, damage, or er, uh, yeah, damage equipment, <laughs> change equipment, and acquire new skills. When you approach a checkpoint, your location will be saved. When you're defeated, you will return to the location of your last checkpoint. So, essentially, the bonfires of the game. So the, uh, if you guys played Ashen, you can see that these little interactable prompts are very, very much like Ashen. Okay, so skills. Player menu. Open the player menu at any time to, by pressing the touchpad. Once there, you can access your inventory, skills, quest, map, and training. 
Skills allow you to improve your abilities, acquiring new skills across repetition. Your inventory allows you to view all equipment you have obtained and select which equipment to use. Map helps you navigate the world and review places you have discovered. From this section, you can fast travel to any unlocked checkpoint. Quests let you track your current objective and change your active quest at any time. Yeah, from what I saw with the demo, there are like side quests and stuff like that too. And it was uh, much the same in Ashen. Revisit all tutorials at any time in the training section. Okay. So we got skill points here. So the charge shot, or shot uh, you can perform a powerful charge up shot with your primary firearm dealing uh, by holding R2 the longer you charge, the more powerful the shot becomes. Now there was one of these path of the power of learning skills in this path. Um, investment path. I forget which, um, passively taunts the enemy facing multiple, she's going to suspend the enemy, blocking stance prevents damage, blocking attack the mo moment of the impact, your parry attack render the enemy invulnerable to a counter attack. Quick mail attack out of a dodge or pout, yeah. Charge up attack with your melee attack weapon. Okay, um, I forget. There was a, um, hit the enemy and attack and deal bonus damage. There was a skill that I used in the demo that was pretty, pretty good. Um, I thought it was with the pistol. Is it? Yeah, it was this. Okay. Well, for now, we're gonna probably get. Yeah, let's get that. And yeah, we can't do anything else right now. But we are gonna work um, towards this counter shot because there was a tough enemy kind of like a mini boss encounter that I got up to and um, that skill helped out a lot Feeling pretty good because it was a huge like armored enemy so like a stone warrior type of thing almost finally we're out okay so we got an encampment Smoke. This is way past the princess. The coalition would never. The dead spilled out of the door when Uru was freed. The coalition didn't even stand a chance. I did this. Time to put it right. Okay, so there's an encampment of a bunch of undead guys we need to take care of here. Hamlets are small communities, they have been seized by hostile forces. Fight your way through enemy forces to find the enemy leader. And defeat the enemy leader to restore safety to the hamlet and allow its inhabitants to return. Um, so if I remember right, there was stuff like this in Ashen. What's up, buddy? Um. Ah. So just a there's just a few enemies here if I remember correctly, and then there is a uh, the little mini boss that you need to take out. Okay, nothing too crazy here. I'm gonna cash in that stuff wherever I can.
since I for sure am gonna get a hit off and so <laughs> Here's a little boss here. Ah! Oh! Damn. Should've healed. <laughs> that is embarrassing. I didn't die to that guy in the in the demo. Okay, so we need to go get our reputation. on your map okay yeah because the uh let's do it because the game opens up quite a bit so if you don't remember where you died you can see it on the map of course i died to the guy now i didn't die to him before that is always the way combat gets pretty intense Call from the demo. Ah! Jesus. Need to calm down, buddy. Okay, this guy. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cash in our 22% there. And if I remember correctly, you just touch this. Yeah, there you go. Grab that. Oh, we well, use that too soon. Let's heal up. There we go. Prepared. Got him by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> Gotta get used to the combat again. It's very good though. I like it a lot. We should check the coffee shop, call everyone back. Alright. Coffee shops. At the heart of every Hamlet is a coffee shop. My life my wife would uh, love this because she's a coffee fiend. Um <laughs> After defeating the enemy leader, the coffee shop will open, unlocking a new checkpoint. Inside the coffee shop, talk to the host to restore health, gain a reward, and purchase new clothing. Furthermore, the host may provide you with the latest rumors in the area, unlocking new side quests. Yeah, like I was saying, there are side quests. Certainly a interesting design for the coffee shop owner here. Cash that in. Bless you, girl. The dead came over us like a wave. If it hadn't been for you... Let's not celebrate just yet. This whole mess is far from over. I'll let the other hosts know. Keep an eye out for you. In the meantime, here. One good deed deserves another. Okay, so we got a healing flask. Common drink, when consumed, 50, uh, restore 50% of your health. Increases your maximum uses by one. So that is good. Alright, so now we got a shop where we can buy 
equipment, like they were saying. Uh, which does cost a reputation, so I may hold off on that. Uh, me can buy pants and whatnot. So yeah, we're gonna hold off for a little bit. But that is cool. No. And there's Baz. No, it really is you. Over here. Baz! Baz! Your leg. Ah. Blast of most of it. Infection of the rest. I knew you'd made it. I knew it. Did anyone else make it? Did Harlan? He fought to the end. Got that winged bastard good. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. Pity me if I'd lost you. We're wasting time. With the dead loose, we have no chance of reaching Uru. Uru's below. It's talking? What is that thing? I saw it fighting with you outside. He's a god. He's gonna help me drag Uru back into the great below. Is that so? Tell me, little god. Can you wipe the dead away with one stroke? Blow away the walls of dawn with a swish from your tail. I... If we're going up against an army, we'll need a proper fighting force. Three Peaks is the only place that's still got one. That's a month's ride from here, Buzz. Two weeks. If you cut through Satrap's Wend and travel light. I know a couple of guides that can take us. Lead the way, then. Okay, so we can travel to Three Peaks, so let's go. Our worst fears came true. When the Coalition's lines broke, the dead spilled into the world. It took every treacherous back road I knew to dodge their hordes. To push them back, we'd need an army. The only place that still had one was Three Peaks. A hard place, breeding harder people. Its knights are the oldest and greatest army in the world. Conquered most of it, even. I think now I fought one of those guys in the demo. Rich off the fortune in black powder under the kneeling keep. Two grueling weeks later, we were in sight of their capital, the city of Rit. Let's hope they'll help us save the world. Maybe then Noah will forgive herself. Yeah, the the one of those knights is I think one of the guys I fought in the demo, the guy I was telling you about, it's like a mini boss. He was pretty difficult, but uh with that ability I was able to get the job done. Took me a few tries though. You've unlocked a new fast travel location. You can use your map to quickly travel to any open coffee shop founded uh yeah, founded campsite or activated lodestone. As you explore newly discovered locations and objectives become visible on your map, use your map to help you navigate through the world and quickly return to places that have you've visited before. Right. Let's wait to Rit. We barely had time to set up camp. At least get some food in you first. The Coalition needs that army, Baz. The sooner we get them the help they need, the better. <sighs> Can you hold on until I check your axe and gun? They're fine, Baz. I need to... Just needs a bit of wood, iron, and salt. Won't even take a minute. Okay. So, we need to collect some stuff here for him. What's some this, then? Wood. And you can see, like, these are pretty much identical to how you gathered resources in Ashen. The prompt, how they shimmer, like, when you get close to them. Very, very similar. What is this? It's like a... <laughs> it's like a... Turkey... Dog thing. <laughs> to push the cart, that's funny. Okay, so we can rest at the... Campfire here. Can we get any more skills? We cannot. Yeah, not yet. Okay. Right then. Let me take a look. Okay. So, upgrading the sappers at your campsite can upgrade your weapons and armor. Upgrading improves your equipment, allowing you to face greater challenges. Upgrading requires a mix of reputation and resources. Explore the world to find any iron, sulfur, and wood you need. Okay. So, we can do some upgrades here. Um, I 
guess I think we have to do this actually. Uh, otherwise, I would hold off um, because we do get a fire axe in a little bit that was pretty good. Okay, so level one to level two, and then the pistol. Yeah, sure. The trail ahead leads to the city. You can request an audience with the judges there. Meanwhile, I'll talk to some of my people in the keep. Grease the wheels if I have to. You know people in the kneeling keep? The perks of running were scumbags in my youth. Some of them got to very high places. I'll meet you at Pilgrim's Bend when I'm done, all right? Don't take too long. Okay, and then there's a mini game called Sebo. Sebo. All right then, come on. Which I am kind of terrible at. Um, <laughs> it's a popular game played throughout the world. Uh, looking coffee shops, hamlets, hamlet streets, and the world for opponents to play. Uh, win matches against different opponents to earn reputation. With each opponent you defeat, the reputation reward increases. So it is a good incentivizer to try and do this. Uh, interact with the wells in the world to find special coins. These coins have unique abilities you can use in your matches. I don't think I saw that tutorial in the uh, in the demo. So interact with wells. Okay. Okay. Got Spaz, uh, Sebo, traditional game, special item, passage in the great below. To win, players must form a triangle rift in the least number of turns. Gives the coins some purpose now that they have can't even buy a loaf of bread. Okay. So you're attacking. Your goal is to create a triangle rift, three coins before you run out of turns. Twelve turns. So, take this one, and block them there. Um, let's go there. Go there and uh, no. There we go. Nice. Okay, now you're defending. Goal is to block your opponent from forming a triangle rift until they run out of turns. Six turns. Okay. Uh, so let's, uh, no. Yeah, maybe not that one, this one. That one there. And... that one here and that one here that one here yep there we go go uh no there's that player spirits you won that round All right, so let's see. Yeah, I think uh, this is probably a good place to stop, and uh, we will continue on in the next one. Uh, early impressions are, you know, I played through the entire demo and I liked it a lot, and um, this this on a, you know, it looks good and polished and ready to go. So uh, I am excited to hop into the rest of this. So hopefully you are all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.